Hi friends, welcome back to Ouroboros Tarot. So today we're going to be looking into where this connection is headed. So we're going to be looking into what the current energies are in the connection, how they see you, how they feel about you, what they desire with you, as well as what their next move is toward you. So I have three piles to choose from today, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to. Take as much time as you need to find the pile that sits right with your energy as well as with your persons, and I will see you in a minute. Hi, pile one. So today's pick a card reading is looking into where your connection is headed. This is a reading for any type of connection. So this could be friendship. This could be something that um, is long standing, whatever the case may be, this is looking into what that connection, what direction that connection is headed in. So, first and foremost, we're going to be looking into what the current energies of the connection are between the two of you. From there, we'll look into how your person sees you, how they feel about you, um, what it is that they want with you, as well as um, what their next action toward you is going to be. So, Let's go ahead and look on into it. So we have Anima Mundi, Building Blocks, and The Rebel. Okay, so Pile 1, I don't know if you can hear Joplin. She's trying to crawl underneath the bed right now, and I have hardwood floor, so it can get pretty loud because she's she's not the smallest dog in the world. Um, but anyway, um, this pile feels like it's a no contact pile. Um, and what I feel is that this connection has gone in that direction due to the fact that someone in this connection wasn't ready, or maybe both of you weren't ready. But either way, it feels like the current energies between the two of you are separate in that you're building your lives um, or working on yourselves while still feeling connected to this person, um, even though you're separated. So that's what, I, that's what I'm seeing in terms of what the energies between the two of you are right now. Your person is currently viewing you as someone who looks after themselves. So we have the rebel here um, for, for how they see you. So this is telling me that they're seeing you as somebody who looks after themselves and makes sure that they advocate for themselves. Um, you may have even advocated for yourself um, by demanding better or more from this connection, which could potentially be why this connection is at a standstill right now. Um, or perhaps you've walked away from this connection. Um, but either way, your person thinks very, very highly of you and sees you as somebody who um, is a force to be reckoned with or who can't be messed with. So if that resonates with you, then you know it's your pile and we can go ahead and get into um, tarot. We'll go ahead and look into how they're currently feeling for you. So what are pile one's person's current feelings for pile one? Okay, so we have judgment. I'm going to take this one. So we have judgment, the high priestess, the King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to do five, I think. And the Sun. Okay. So when it comes to how they're currently feeling, before we get any more cards, we'll pull more cards in a second, but how they're currently feeling about you, Pile One, is they feel, I wanna say they feel like they'd like a second chance or like they're, they're very sorry for what has transpired between the two of you, but at the same time, they don't know where they stand with you. They feel as though they don't have all of the information they need in order to decide whether or not this would be a good move to um, come forward. Um, I think they see you as somebody who is really, really, really strong-willed um, and knows what it is that they deserve. And I would honestly say that they're viewing you as this King of Swords, as somebody who 
um, really advocates for yourself and they're they're hesitant to they're hesitant to reach out or to come forward with their apology because they are unsure of how it will be met um, they feel as though they could be treated very harshly or um, could be rejected very very immediate like almost immediately and it's something that really concerns them um, they also are aware of like with the eight of pentacles here i would say that there's there's an element here of patience like they're willing to be patient to gather more information um, and the reason why they're willing to be patient is because um, they want they want to feel connected to you again with this sun card here it's giving me the energy of of warmth of healing and what that's telling me is that they're seeing this connection as something that can really ease um, some of the things that perhaps have been going on in their life not necessarily things outside of this connection but just the heartache that they've been feeling um, and so because of that they're really trying to practice patience and come in at the right time but let's keep going how are they currently feeling yep we have the eight of wands the eight of wands and judgment combined is like such a strong message that this person has a strong desire to come forward with contact and apologize and then we have the page of swords the page of swords is um, in its most classic meaning um, it represents curiosity it represents stalking and not like stalk like stalking like oh let me check their social media let me check let me um, talk to their friends let me you know um, let me replay what was last said to see if I can get any more information about where I could potentially stand in the future with this person so they're definitely curious but they don't feel like they have all the information yet and then we have the king the queen of cups so like i was saying they're viewing you as this king of swords somebody who is just very much in their logical space and i think that they're viewing themselves as more so in their heart space and they don't necessarily think that coming forward right now would be the most logical thing for them to do because where they're coming from is a place of emotion and it probably seems very illogical to somebody who is trying to level up trying to step up in life into their into their own power and then we have the star yeah they are um, sitting waiting wishing they're they're not going to make a move until they know that they can be successful okay and then we have the three of swords yes what did i say the sun tells me that there's a desire to heal and what do they want to heal the pain within their heart the heartache um, and then on the bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles they have a desire to work on this with you work on this together they don't want to do this they don't want to put themselves out there their ego is holding themselves back from putting themselves out there because they don't want to put themselves out there unless there's a guarantee that you would be willing to work with them on whatever offer they have ready to lay out on the table for you let's look into look in and see what it is that they want with you what does pile one's person desire to have with pile one we have broken and hatched this to me is saying they desire a fresh start they desire they desire to grow from this heartbreak they desire to grow from the damage that perhaps has been caused in this connection and create something stronger than than there was before spirits to guide you another thing that they desire is they, this person just seems like somebody who really 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 needs control they don't want to put themselves out there without knowing that they're going to be successful so they're really tapping like i wouldn't be surprised if like they're getting tarot readings done or they're talking to your friends or anything they can do to gain information to to find out the best way to navigate this is what they desire to do let's get one more what do they desire with pile one the one who hides the sun that's interesting because like I, we have the sun here and we have the three of swords 
And what this is telling me is that they want to get rid of that cloud, that gloomy cloud that's been over them since this connection has ended, this heartache. They want to get rid of it. They want the sun to come out again with you. Let's keep going. What do they want with pile one? What do they desire? Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. They want to get past this fear. I think there's an element here of them understanding that needing to have control is very much a fear-based response, and it really doesn't actually prevent anything from happening. It, it can prevent you from even putting yourself out there, and they're, they're kind of waking up to this idea that perhaps what they should be doing, what they want to do, what they desire to do is to face their fears and come toward you regardless of whether or not they know the right answer. What else do they want with pile one? And then we have a love. Yep. I, I think that's, it's pretty clear. Um, okay. So the last thing I'm going to do before we get some advice is, is pull the card that I pulled for you guys when it comes to what their next move is. Where is this headed? based on their energy and for that we have number 33 retreat so even though they have a desire to come forward at pull themselves out of this like fear-based energy they do they do intend on retreating and um this isn't a permanent thing retreating is is not the same as giving up retreating is um, taking a step back and weighing your options and finding out the best course of action so I would say that this person does intend on reaching out, but they don't intend on doing it until they know what the best course of action is for them in order to be successful. Or for even if it's not successful in the sense of you two get back together, at least successful in the sense of there can be a meeting point in which the two of you agree on something and the two of you gain something positive from the interaction. Um, let's go ahead and get some advice for you. What advice is there for pile one? No need to do. I am exactly where I need to be, exactly when I need to be. There's nothing more I need to do. I mean, yes, there will always be laundry and taxes, but in terms of my life's path, I don't need to do anything because I am already here. I take a deep breath, relax, and trust and then do the laundry and engagement today i make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way i'll take a new route and talk to strangers i will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if i'm not inside at a 7-eleven at the very least i'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average and at most i'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever no pressure I think it's interesting that these two cards came up because they're so opposite and obviously you should take this information in the way that resonates best for you. The way I felt this come through is that there's nothing you need to do when it comes to this connection and the best thing you can do is engage with the rest of life currently and everything will fall into place. But of course, you should take your these advice cards in the best way um, that resonates for you. And then we have a new deck. It's the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. And we'll see what comes through for you guys on this. What advice is there? Okay, we have abundance planning and alone time. So again, like I feel like abundance planning is the same energy as engagement. This engage with life and all the other aspects of it aside, like outside of this connection and then alone time. Find things you can do to um, build that relationship with yourself and um, kind of let go of that energetic tie with this other person until this person is ready to face their fears if you ever so desire to rekindle things with them. But that's what I'm seeing for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that I'll have the chance to read for you in another video soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. So today's pick a card reading is looking into where this connection is headed. 
So essentially how we're going to do it is we're going to look into what the current energies of this connection are so you can see whether or not this is your pile. We're going to look into how your person is currently viewing you. We'll get into how they're feeling about you, um, what it is that they desire with you. And then lastly, with this card here, we will look into what their next move toward you is going to be. So let's go ahead and start. So first and foremost, we have number 10, Unfinished Symphony, Angel, and The Seed. Okay. So it feels like you guys have kind of teetered on this idea of taking things to the next level, but it may have been kind of like an unspoken agreement, um, or perhaps you guys took it to another level and then never had a discussion about it, or you were once partners and now you're friends, um, or maybe you guys have joked about being more than just friends, but nothing's ever come of it. But there's something here, regardless of what it is specifically there's something here with this feeling that an idea has been planted or is being planted and it has not been explored yet in this connection with angel here this is how your person is currently seeing you and this is telling me that they're seeing you as someone who gives to others and cares for others including them um and Honestly, they may or may not feel pressured by this, depending on the energy that you are giving off um, to them about what it is that you expect in return or are hoping for. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm seeing with that. Let's go ahead and pull tarot and see how they feel for you. Okay, what are Pile 2's person's current feelings? Okay, we have the Page of Wands, the Hierophant, the High Priestess. So that's a, those are counterparts. We have the Chariot, my goodness, and lots of uh, Major Arcana cards. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this in terms of how they're currently feeling about you. So the first thing that I would say is that this person feels a very strong attraction to you, a very strong desire toward you, um, and feels very passionately about you, um, really um, is curious and wants to explore, expand this connection in some way, shape, or form, even if it's just um, expanding this in, in terms of making the friendship stronger. There's just an element here of, I would say, I would say attraction and um, enjoying, enjoying your company. Um, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess here, there's also an intuitiveness to this on their, on their end in which they feel very, very connected to you. And I think that they have a pretty good understanding as to why. And the understanding is that you are their person or you are um, somebody who is their match, their equal. And this is definitely something that they find to be attractive and find worthwhile in keeping you around. Um, let's keep going. How are they currently feeling? about pile two. Okay, we have the sun. The four of swords. Temperance. The ace of pentacles. The star. And then on the back of the deck, we have the three of cups. Okay, so the first thing that I felt when the sun came out was that this person feels like comfort in your presence. They feel comforted. They're like in their comfort zone. They just feel as though they can be themselves. There's like a very soothing energy to you that um, they want to expand on. What I think is interesting is that underneath these two counterparts, we have two cards indicating a slowdown, a 
a step back. Um, the Hierophant is being clarified by the Four of Swords. So this to me is indicative of them really, 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 both of these cards actually, the Four of Swords and the Temperance is telling me that they are taking a step back right now or perhaps there's been this unspoken, things have gone unspoken because they are wanting to get as much information as possible when it comes to what the meaning behind their feelings are what the reason the purpose behind why they feel so drawn to you is the way that it is um, but it's not deterring from their um, desire for you in any way we have the ace of pentacles and the star the ace of pentacles is clarifying the chariot they have this strong desire to come running toward you and um, start over or plant the seed that's been planted the idea that's been the idea that's been planted they want to like actually ground it um, and with the star here this is all about wish fulfillment this is all about hopes and dreams coming true um, I think it's interesting that we have the three of cups here at the, as the bottom of the deck because I think that for some of you this is like a friend zone kind of thing or perhaps it's like a third party situation um, and it's heavy on their mind obviously you would know about that if that were the case um, but at the end of the day they feel they feel joy when they're near you they feel a lot of joy they feel happy um, happiness toward you but let's look and see what it is that they desire what do they desire with pile two we have under a spell they're hoping that you feel the same way, first and foremost. No bull. Okay, let's get one more. And gifts to the portal. They desire, what do they desire with you? They desire you. They desire to have a connection that isn't with unspoken kinds of energy. They want something that is where everything's laid on the, on the table, where feelings are mutual, they're not the only one that is feeling this way, and they can, um, they can enjoy being with you. Let's keep going. What is it that they desire? We have adversity. I accept the challenges. That challenges are the best way to learn. I feel like this person is really um, finding finding ways or finding the strength in which to put themselves out there and then we have purpose i know what i am here to do it's like they they know that there is a purpose to this connection and they want to follow it through for the reasoning behind it hold on just a second pile two i have to let my cat out real quick i know that sounds weird but i'll be right back okay sorry about that pile two it's joplin likes to eat Lily's food so whenever it's dinner time Joplin eats her food really really fast and then Lily eats her food very slowly and like kind of like comes in and out for dinner and um, whenever she walks away from her food Joplin comes and eats it all so I can't ever tell how much she's had and so now we have like separate rooms and Lily gets a room with her food and we close the door so Lily was just ready to come out. She was finished eating. Um, and I don't know if you can hear Joplin now, but now Joplin's very excited that Lily has come out into the, to the living room. Um, but anyway, sorry about that. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for this. Let's go ahead and look into what their next move is. So their, mo their next move toward you, their, the intention that they have when it comes to you, is number 20 overview so they have a desire they're contemplating and they, they intend on contemplating and bringing this information this newfound information to you um, this isn't something that's going to be unspoken for very much longer let's go ahead and get into advice so I just got this deck recently it's the sacred self-care deck this is Another deck I got from people who have sent me donations. So thank you if you are some of those people. It's very generous of you. And obviously I wanna put it back into the channel. 
Um, but anyway, let's let's get into it. What advice is there for pile two when it comes to this connection? So we have be still and energy work. Okay. So I think like what this is what this is telling me is that or telling you is that one of the best things you can do for yourself as well as for this connection, if this is a connection that you want to have progress, um, is is allow this person the time and the space they need to come to their own conclusions. Um, to not be in that shadow attribute of the angel in which um, you're doing things with the expectation of healing them or wanting them to want you, um, things like that. Let's get one of these. What advice is there? We have trust. I trust that everything will be okay in the end, partly because I simply know it in my gut, but also because it's way more fun to live with trust and confidence than to be a defensive wiener. Okay. Well, pile two, that's what I'm seeing for you today. If this resonated, I would love to hear about how it did in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much, pile two, for watching. And I hope that I'll have the chance to read for you in another video soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. So today's Pick a Card reading is looking into where this connection is headed. So we're going to look into, first and foremost, the current energies of the situation at hand, so you'll know whether or not this is your pile. We'll also look into how your person thinks that you see them. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll look into how your person sees you. We'll look into what it is that your person desires with you, how they feel about you, as well as what their next move toward you is going to be. So let's go ahead and get started. We have number 30, TikTok, the mountain, and hero heroine. Okay. So pile three, this group in particular seems to be in a connection where the two of you have kind of shifted gears in some way, shape, or form. Like, perhaps you were friends and now you're in a connection, like a, like a relationship or a romantic connection of some kind. Or uh, maybe you were lov lovers and now you've stepped into friendship. Or maybe you were friends and now you're business partners. Um, whatever the case may be, whatever the change is, it seems like currently the two of you are trying to find like the core of what is special about the love or joy or care that the two of you share for one another. And you're looking for the universality of your connection, regardless of where it stands in terms of its title. Um, it seems kind of like you guys have been through a lot together and neither one of you has given up on this connection quite yet um, or on each other. And it also seems like where your connection currently is, is where it's faded or meant to be at this current moment in time. So if that resonates with you, um, this is probably your pile and your person is seeing you as the hero slash heroine. And the light attribute of that is passion for a journey of personal development or personal empowerment. And the shadow attribute is escapism and a false sense of heroism. And I think in all honesty, this person is viewing you as somebody who is really trying to empower yourself, who's really leveling up, who's really putting in the work to become the best version of yourself possible. And if you look at this image, what I think is interesting is that we have the mountain here, you know, describing what the energy is between the two of these people. And then for how they see you, we see this image of two people climbing up a mountain trying to get to the top and once they reach the top they're going to meet at the top and it kind of get the feeling that they're viewing you whether you whether or not you've discussed this or not as somebody who potentially is growing and evolving and becoming a, a better future partner perhaps for them or a better future friend perhaps for them and perhaps they're even viewing themselves in this way which is why there's two images or two people in this image however we're just looking in right now to how it is that they see you 
but that's what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and look into how they feel about you. Okay, what happened? There we go. How does Pile Thu's person currently feel about them? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, which has come out in every pile so far today, and we have Strength. Okay. So, pile three, your person feels um, very, very drawn to you, very attracted to you, thinks that you're a very beautiful person, um, but also, like, like I, it really is like a, a, a very strong att attraction, and they feel, I wish I could come up with a better way to say it, but there's just such a drive to be near you, there's such a drive to want to communicate with you. Um, and they feel comfortable with you. We have the Four of Wands and the Sun and Strength. This is all indicative of somebody who feels very comfortable and safe and soothed in your presence. Um, also feels very stable, feels like this is something that um, can stand the test of time. Um, they also feel very, yeah, very safe in your presence with the sun and with strength. There's like a, there's a gentleness to this connection that they really value. And I think that regardless of how this connection has changed throughout time, that love, that warmth, that eternal fire is still always there. The seven of pentacles reverse tells me that this person feels a little bit impatient. This person doesn't want to, um, wait for things to change. Um, it feels like perhaps for them it's a little bit more of a struggle when it comes to titles or things like that or when it comes to certain boundaries that are set in place when um, relationships change into something different like if you were lovers and now you're friends whatever the case may be there's an element here of struggling with having patience for the work that needs to be put in um, not that they're necessarily unwilling to do it but it's something that they're struggling with. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups, the World, the Moon, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and then on the back of the deck we have the Magician. Okay. I would say that this person is struggling a little bit with where this connection has gone um, and, and perhaps a little bit more than you have. Um, and this is something that they really would like to communicate. They would like to communicate how they're feeling about this, their concerns, their insecurities. Um, they deep down inside don't feel like, they, they deep down inside they have a profound trust that this connection is going to stand the test of time like psych different cycles can happen in this connection and it, and it won't matter because at the end of the day there's such there are such strong roots here um, part I think part of why this person feels so um, impatient about the work that needs to be done or impatient about where things are out right now is because there are fears here fears of um, Fears of losing you in not not entirely because like I was saying, they know that there's there's like a, a profound, like there's really deep roots here, but fears of losing you in like losing parts of you, if that makes sense. Like from friends to becoming from being friends to becoming acquaintances, like losing you in that sense. Where you're you're always you guys are still connected 
but it's changed so much like it's not as recognizable anymore i guess there's also a great deal of love here like this person loves you dearly deeply with the sun and the two of cups this person um you know has forgiven you for anything that may have happened in the past um, wants to forgive themselves and move forward this person truly sees you as somebody with a whole lot of potential to be a life partner if this is like a romantic type of thing um, and they have like an like this love overflows onto them in terms of the, the their capacity to feel compassion for you um, everything here with the magician being the bottom of the deck energy everything here is telling me that this person cares for you deeply loves you wants nothing but the best for you feels insecure at times and wants to share that with you and is worried that one day you might you might start pulling away um, to a point where they don't recognize the connection for for what it is anymore but let's go ahead and look into what it is that they desire with you well this one was just flipped over so cast your sacred symbols they desire to take charge it's too many I'm not gonna take them gifts from the past so yeah they they want they desire things to go back to how they were And we also have alchemy. They desire to have things go back to the way they were, but also to alchemize this into something that's just pure gold, to like amplify whatever type of relationship you guys had in the past to something that is just completely sacred and beautiful. Let's keep going. What do they desire? Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth and grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. They want to release these icky feelings. And I, you see it with the Eight of Cups and then the Eight of Wands. They want to express to you um, if there's anything they need to apologize for. They want to express that to you. If there's anything that they... <sighs> they don't want they don't want to feel icky they don't want to feel sad if there's anything that they've done to harm you they want to express how sorry they are but also they want to express their fears to you um let's go ahead and look into what their next move is we have number 28 excessive pressure so pile three what this is telling me is that they are going to be going after what it is that they want one of their their um, next moves is to come forward with their truth and this is going to be something that um it might be like a tower moment or like an overflow of emotions in the sense of they might feel like they're drowning in their emotions and have to share them with you um, but there is going to be a release here of of emotional pressure on their end and expressing what it is that they desire and you like there's so much imagery here of mountains it's crazy like i'm looking at this eight of cups and this person is walking away seeking truth and what are they walking towards mountains and we see we see these two this couple climbing up the mountain and then what's the connecting energy the mountain it's very i love it when when imagery like that happens but let's go ahead and get you guys some advice. What advice is there for Pile 3 when it comes to this connection? Personal growth. As I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away. Like training wheels on bikes, they helped me get to where I am. But now that I can ride, I don't need those slow and crummy wheels, except when I'm making bike analogies okay and then i also have a new deck here called the sacred self-care oracle deck it's another deck that i got with the donations that you guys have been sending in so thank you so much if you are one of those people 
What advice is there for pile three? Hmm. We'll take this one. Look at the stars. Look to the stars. So it might be a good time to look into your guys' horoscopes or look into your own birth chart or to even just look up at the night sky and take a, take a deep breath. And we also have look for fairies, look for the magic in life. All right, pile three. Well, that's what I'm seeing for you today. If this resonated, I would love to hear about how it did in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching pile three. And I hope that I'll have the chance to read for you in another video soon. Bye. Bye.